Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you're enjoying your holiday so far and you're spending a lot of time with family and just enjoying the season. It's a beautiful time of year. And speaking of, it's also the end of the year. And let me tell you, it's one of the best years that I've experienced so far. And as I reflect back on the year, there are so many great things to point to. And I don't even know where to begin. For starters, I received my Spotify top five songs, you know, the music that characterizes your entire year, I suppose. But I did just want to highlight just two songs that really influenced me this year. I mean, there's so many to point to. And the first one that really characterized my year, I would say, would be Code by Motionless in White. It was really the anthem that drove me this year. It's all about rewriting the code of your life. And that's what it feels like I'm doing. For the first time ever, it feels like I am setting direction. I'm rewriting the past and I'm figuring out a direction. I'm riding my way forward in the future. And so that really served as my anthem this year. And another song that I would highlight would be False Dawn by Holding Absence. And this one's more of a pain point for me because the song is basically about being this false dawn. That it's like the sun that's coming on the horizon and you see the glimpse but then it never comes to be and that's what it feels like my life is as I'm looking forward I'm like I feel like I'm going somewhere I'm making something but I had this fear in the back of my mind that I'll never make it anywhere and nothing will ever become of me. That one hurts if that's the reality that I have to face. And so that's been another driving point in the opposite direction. One is driving me towards like, yes, I can do this. I can crush it. And the other one's going, I'm really afraid of this and I'm going to keep running from it. So those have been just the two that I would recommend checking out. Would love to hear your song tops as well, you know? <laughs> but other than that, I want to give you a quick run through of just the great highlights that I've had this year and bring you along for the ride. I kicked off the year starting grad school. I then spent a weekend with teenagers at a youth retreat where I ended up like bruising my bicep. It looks kind of cool actually. I later went to a men's retreat and then around February is when I discovered Andrew Huberman and I started listening to him on neuroscience like non-stop. That has been a big factor this year, let me tell ya. And eventually I finished the pagoda after like an entire year of procrastinating and it starts to look nice with all the lights. In May I started coming up with ideas for my quote unquote duck stuff channel and I came up with with a mission, started recording content, and that's really when I started launching all this YouTube stuff, was back in May. So it's been a long time in the works. See, so yeah, I actually had to plan some of this stuff out, which kind of sucks. And then in June, I spent a week at youth camp, and I preached a couple of sermons. It was crazy, it was chaotic, and my voice was sore for like three weeks. I have a little bit of something left in my voice, but not too much, you know what I mean, man? Um, but maybe if I do something like this, and I got a little bit more. And then over the summer, I traveled to Honduras for a week, and I preached a couple times. I spent time with a a lot of great people and I saw a lot of neat things. And then in September I finally launched the Duck Stuff channel on Labor Day and then we have kicked off and we have not stopped running since. And then in October I was appointed as a temporary youth pastor and so I started preaching once a week and planning youth events. In November I was finishing up grad school. I started Spanish lessons and Jordan Peterson's self-authoring program and then eventually we get back to today where I have finished grad school for the time being this semester and everything is sort of peachy great it's been awesome and we're still going and now we're taking a break here and we're getting ready for the new year so it has been chaos man and i have loved every second of it there's so many great things that i've taken away from this year in fact i would say that this is the year that i've learned more than anything that i ever have in the years prior and unless you're counting like when i was two and learning all the sensory motor skills and how to function as a human being but like this year i've just learned so much from podcasts from interviews just from reading books i've, I've read 10 books this year listened to countless other things i have I've just learned so much and I'm shaping my mind. I built on several friendships this year and I disconnected from a couple friendships just because I'm so isolated. But I'm also gaining and growing and learning at the same time and that's what's important. I've learned a lot just about leadership. I've learned in presenting and editing and scripting and all the things that go with making a YouTube channel and reading and learning, just learning different skills and, and character traits maturity, responsibility, just growing in intellect and knowledge and wisdom and trying to apply these things and concepts to my life. I am just growing and exploding in so many different ways and I'm trying to keep everything contained in a healthy way. And more than that, I've really just learned how far I can push myself and I realize I can push myself farther yet. This is the busiest I've ever been, but this is also the happiest I've been and Honestly, I'm pretty settled and calm with it, more so than I was a couple of months ago. And so it feels like I'm, I'm learning just the limits to which I can push myself and recognizing that I can go farther than I really think I can and that there's a lot more for me to go. So it has been an incredible year and I'm just so grateful for all of the opportunities that I've had. And if you would, please share some of the highlights and experiences that you've had this year that have helped to shape you. I would love to hear some of your successes, and I hope they are just as exhilarating and just as exhausting as mine. <laughs> but here's to 2024, 
It feels like I'm climbing the steep and I'm almost to the top and it feels like I'm about to like go down the roller coaster, but I know I've got a lot more to go. I've got loop-de-loops and twists and turns and stuff that I don't even see coming that are going to completely blindside me, but that's all part of <sighs> that's all part of the experience and that's what I'm in for. I'm in for the ride. So, what can you do except brace for impact? I'm bracing. <laughs> see you next year.